What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 1 and I'm going to share with you how to replace this disk drive right here, the laser, whatever you want to call it. I'm replacing the whole unit and it's fairly easy to do so. Now, I did buy this a while back in a lot for myself uh, to resell. This one here, I waited till the end because this part is about a 20 to $30 part. It actually cost me $30 for the one that I did buy, but you can get them for around $20 as well. Now, I waited on it because this lot did include a couple PS3s, a couple PS2s, a ton of games, and I decided to sell all of that first before I repaired this to sell it. So now the time has come that I made a lot of profit on everything else, so it's time to fix this and get this sold as well. So to do so, you're going to flip it over here, and all you need to do it is a Phillips head screwdriver. That is all you need. It is not like the uh, PS3 or the PS4s that you need the security screws. That is not back then. So there is six screws that you do need to remove before you can open up this simple console. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now once you have all six screws out, you're going to turn it back over and it should lift right off just like that. So this is the unit we are going to be replacing right here. And look how simple of console that is. That is insane. Really easy to replace pretty much anything that you need. I'm going to come and turn over here. It does slide right off, but as you can see, there's two cables that are holding it on. So first is this one here. It's just a matter of pulling it up and disconnecting it. And this one here, you're going to gently pull up as well. This one you're going to be careful with because it is a ribbonette cable, just like that. And you're going to remove the unit like I just showed you. So I'm going to be replacing this entire unit. Now, different ones that you buy, you might have to keep these rubber uh, bushings to be able to put on to the new one. Uh, the one that I bought is the exact replica, so I do not need to take anything off of this one here. So here we go. It looks very much identical. Uh, this one here, like I said, was the $30 one, which is why I wanted to wait until everything else was sold in the lots before I went and uh, purchased $30 for this unit. So let's go and put this on here, just like that. I'm going to take the ribbon cable right here and you're going to just slide it in gently into the port there. You're definitely not going to want to bend the cable at all, so you're going to want to be very cautious when plugging that one in and also when you were removing it. You're going to take the other cable here, you're going to plug it back into the port. And just like that, you have replaced the optimal drive, the disk drive for the unit. So now you're simply going to put the shell back on, flip it back over, and put the six screws back in. And there you have it, once the six screws are back in it, the optimal drive is replaced and it is in working order. The only thing left to do for you is to test this unit, which I am going to do shortly off camera. But this is how you go and you replace the optimal drive, the disc reader of the PlayStation 1. Really easy to use. Like I said, the only thing that I didn't show in this video is depending on what you buy, those little rubber bushings that slide onto those pegs to hold it into place, you might have to keep off your old one and then uh, put them onto the new one to be able to replace and slide it back in appropriately. So that is the only thing. This here, now that it is repaired, I should be able to sell it for around $50 to $75. Hopefully more on the higher end. It does come with the power cord, AV cord, uh, one controller, uh, two memory cards as well. And I am going to be bundling it with some games. So usually when they're just by themselves in the area with sometimes just the power cords, no controllers, or maybe just console only, I can buy this for roughly $25 depending on if it needs any parts or anything, if it is working. If it is, I should be able to sell it between $50 to $75. $50 if I have at least one controller and no games, $75 if you bundle some games with it. This one here, I do have Gran Turismo, a Final Fantasy game, and Crash Racing that I'm likely going to bundle with it along with some other games. 
and I'm probably going to sell it and list it for around $100. That's what I'm expecting on it. And it only cost me $30 for this part. Like I said, you can get it for $20, but I did buy one for $30. That included the feet, uh, the cable, and everything else. Sometimes you can get cheaper ones that don't include the cables. And sometimes that cable is what is damaged and broken. So you might as well buy one that has it all complete. So this is how you go and replace the... PS1 disc reader, laser, or optimal drive, whichever you do call it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope this helped you fix your PS1. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.